Now you know we got a story to tell you, man. And I know all the fellows up here know about it because uh, when they sit back and uh, bring out their... And we are so happy that this band decided to put a fabulous female trumpet player oh, in the middle you. of this whole band. So what can you tell us about yourself? Hi, uh, my name is Sarah Nelson. I'm a trumpet player. I also teach middle school bands, so I'm a teacher full time. Okay. Um, so I have, a, I have a middle school band program you know, of about 150 kids. I've been playing trumpet since I was in sixth grade. And um, I started playing jazz in seventh grade and never stopped. So that's where I am today. Well, we're doing a special program uh, about keeping jazz alive. And, and my partner on this program is Ingrid Pastoria. She's the uh, wife of Jocko Pastoria. Yeah, uh -huh. And she's going to get to see you on this tape. Oh, wonderful. That's and great. Uh, we want you to be part of our program of keeping jazz alive in the schools. Great. Thank you very much. And, uh, I appreciate it. We were so happy that we were out, able to come out here and catch you. And we know you're going to be an inspiration to kids all over the country. Great. Well, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much. And I wait a minute. It. I think the band leader is here, Skip Spiro. <laughs> Skip. Yeah, Bob. Real wonderful job. Oh, thank you. What can you tell us about this little big band? Well, I mean, it started out as just a, actually a thing from my son who was a drum student at the University of North Texas as uh, when he came home from summer uh, recess to have an opportunity to keep playing. Mm -hmm. So I just got a bunch of guys together and uh, uh, got some arrangements together and it started out as that. And then after we went back to school, we kind of looked at each other and said, uh, it's kind of fun. So no, I know you played with Ron Knight in the That's 60s, right. so, so it was really nice to yeah. see you guys together once again. Well, thank you, Bob. And, uh, yeah. And you can't have a big band without a big band drummer. Yeah, and, that's right. And who do we have here? I'm Steve Pemberton. Steve, yep. you had some fabulous fills all throughout this big. This Glad has got to be a lot of fun. Oh, I always love. You know, big band is my first love. So any big band I can play in, I love doing it. I love working with Skip. So what do you do when you're not here with the big band? Uh, I've been a professional musician for 35 years. Uh, I used to tour for 23 years with people like. Uh, Mel Torme, Doc Severinsen, uh, Grover Washington, Peter Nero. I was the uh, drummer for the Boston Pops for three years. Oh boy. Um, and uh, I decided to actually plant my feet in LA and stay here. So I'm doing the studios, I do a lot of live stuff, I do TV and film, and I'm also teaching at LA Music Academy in Pasadena. Well, this tape is going to go out to high school kids all across the country, and uh, it's really a thrill to catch some of those wonderful fills in the big band business. Glad you enjoyed it. It's okay, always bye my bye pleasure. Now. Thank you. Oops. I want to sneak back here and, and catch the bass player. Hello. There's, there's not many film crews that that won't sneak back into the bass section so we can get to hear a real live upright bass here. All right. And uh, you played some real fabulous solos well, thank you. Uh, throughout the night. What can you tell us about yourself? Uh, my name is Shane Harry. I graduated from Cal State Uni University Northridge in 2004 and uh, I've been a professional bass player ever since. So that college is right around the corner from this club. Right down the street. Oh boy. Well, we want to thank you. Wonderful job. Well, thank you. Okay, bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Now, would, would you be considered the lead trumpet player in this group? Yeah, I guess so. And I noticed you played a composition, a special composition of a trumpet player that had passed away? Yeah. What can you tell us about that composition? It was basically just an exercise in writing a chart the way that that guy wrote. He wrote a lot of music. It was just an exercise in writing a chart the way he did it. And so you wrote that particular chart mm -hmm. and then played the solo on it? Uh, I just played lead on it. Skip played the solo on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's a good time. So what can you tell our audience that we're high school kids across the country? You know, just keep, you know, if you're into music, keep doing it. Nothing greater, nothing better. It's kept me out of trouble and, you know, got me through college and put me where I am today. You know? So you're a professional musician? Professional, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, I mean, I have a, I, uh, you know, went to college, I got a doctorate in music and everything else. So it's the way to do it, you know. Well, we really enjoyed listening to all these wonderful compositions on behalf of Kids Talk Radio. I want to thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.